Shalom. Thank you for joining us tonight for the Gratz College webinar, A Taste of Conversational Hebrew with Gratz instructor, Rhonda Whitlin. Before we get to the program, I want to mention that our next webinar is on Tuesday, April 28th at 7.30 p.m. also. In next week's webinar, military historian Herb Kaufman will entertain us with tales of deception and secret agents during World War II. Uh, please check the calendar page on our website for more details. I want to remind everyone that Gratz offers both online and in-person Hebrew classes. Please feel free to reach out to me privately by email for more information. My email is lcohen at gratz.edu. So great news. We had over 140 people register for today's webinar. Um, it looks like we've got about 77 on right now. So we'll see if we can uh, get even some more folks to join us tonight. Now, obviously due to the large size of the group, we will mute all of your audio and turn off your video as you can already tell that that's happening as you join. Uh, you'll be able to see and hear the speaker, but no one will see or hear you. And if we have any questions for tonight, they'll have to wait until the end. So how are you gonna let us know if you have a question if, you can, if we can't hear you? So to ask a question, you'll type it inside the chat function. And this function can be found in different locations on your screen, depending on the type of media you're using. Uh, on desktop computers or laptops, it can be found at the bottom of your screen. On tablets, it is often at the top of the screen. And on cell phones, you may have to swipe left or right. And we are recording this session right now. I will send you a link to the recording after it has been processed and edited sometime in the next 48 hours. So you'll also receive an online survey soon after the presentation ends. We appreciate your input because it helps us improve your experience for future webinars. You'll also have an opportunity to sign up for next week's webinar. So here's the fun part, everyone. Um, for tonight, I'm looking for some volunteers. Obviously, we can't have everyone take this class at once. This is a language class tonight. So I'm looking for volunteers literally right now who are willing to be students in our class this evening. So what that means is I'm looking for folks, maybe only two or three of you, who are willing to turn your audio and your video on and to be our guinea pigs for tonight. So you will take this class with Rhonda Whitlin, our instructor. If you're willing to do that, if you want a very interactive experience right now, please either use the chat function, which as I mentioned, is at the bottom of your screen on most laptops and computers, or if you're using an updated version of Zoom right now, please click the yes circle. That is, if you go to the bottom of your screen and you see an icon for, that says participants, if you click on that, you will see a list of participants. Find your name in the long list and click the word yes. Actually, you don't even need to find your name. I think if you just click yes, we'll see it in the long list and then we will make your audio and your video active. And that's how we'll know that you're gonna be joining the class today. So I'm gonna wait for just a couple of moments to see if anyone is willing to do that. And I think I have at least one um, victim who's ready to do that anyway, who I already know about. But if you are, please let me know. And, you, and then you will join our class. Um, and as I find you, I will read your name out loud um, so that our IT friend can turn your audio and video on. And I see already that Naomi Hausman would like to do this. Thank you, Naomi, for your help tonight. I can unmute you and our, our uh, video technologist is gonna turn your video on and there you are. Um, I also see here the people are saying yes on chat. So I see Sarah Finkelstein Waters, you wanna do this. So yes, yes. So let's see if our IT friend can help find Sarah's audio and video. Let's do it. Let's see, who else do we have? We have Grace Flisser also says, yes, 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 I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Excellent, I'm so glad to hear that. It's nice to get this input from everyone. Um, so I'm also asking our IT friend to make Grace uh, visible to everyone. Let's see, we're not gonna get everybody in here, but we're gonna get some. 
Let's see who else we have. As I check, we've got, and Sarah, we're gonna unmute you as well, if we can do that. And just give me another minute, folks, and we'll get maybe one more person on here. We have got Carrie. Carrie, you're the next contestant. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask our IT friends to please go to Carrie. Turn on her video, turn on her audio. Waiting to see. We get sorry for the time here. I'm going to unmute Carrie, if I can. And while we do this, sorry for the pause, folks. We'll get to this as soon as possible. It looks like Grace is on. It looks like Sarah's on. Naomi's on. If we could just get Carrie on. And maybe she is, and there she is. Great. Friends, we've got about five folks who are willing to do this, and I'm sorry, everyone else will have to wait until the next webinar. So thank you, everyone, for doing that. Um, now is the fun part. I'd like to invite Rhonda Whitlin to be in our Hebrew lesson for today. Okay. Yeah. Rhonda teaches a variety of Judaic studies and Hebrew courses for the Gratz College Jewish Community High School, as well as various levels of conversational Hebrew for our continuing education students. She also teaches as an adjunct faculty member for our online graduate courses. So Rhonda, take it away. Welcome everybody. I'm really excited that you are all joining us virtually. This is really exciting and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody who volunteered um, to participate in the class. Um, we are going to um, slowly see a slideshow. So I'm gonna get very, very small um, in the corner of your screen so that you can see the words really, really big. Um, and I will be speaking over it. Um, we're going to simulate a classroom experience online. The only difference is that normally we would break out into chat rooms and we are not going to be doing that tonight. Instead, you are going to be observing um, various of the volunteers having conversations live in front of you. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen with everybody. And if you would like to reach out to me via email, my email is on the first slide and I can go back to it at the end if you want to copy it down and um, if you have questions but as Lori said you're welcome to start putting them in the chat room and we will go through them at the end of the class. Can we watch? That's what you're doing. So we're going to begin by starting out with some very basic conversation. What you'll see on the first slide is the word written in Hebrew. And for many of us, we have not explored the letters yet. And for some of us, we have seen these letters a lot before. So what I've done is given you the Hebrew words, sentences and phrases, followed by a transliteration and then an actual translation of the word. So I started with Shalom because that is the most common word. Most of us already know it. And that is a word that we can all say before we know anything in Hebrew, we can say Shalom. It means hello. It also means goodbye. And it also means peace. It's one of the most commonly used words. And it is how we start out most of our conversation. The next thing that you most commonly ask somebody when you're first starting out a conversation that you don't know is what their name is. So I'm going to read the phrase in Hebrew. I'm going to read the transliterations and then I'm going to ask my volunteers to ask each other the question in Hebrew. One of the things I wanna point out before I read it is that in Hebrew, everything has gender. So if I'm to ask a female a question, I would phrase it one way. And if I'm to ask a male a question, I would phrase it another way. 
Since we have a lot of female participants today, I'm going to focus on pronouncing and repronouncing the male form so that those of you that are participating that would like to know how you would ask a male can say it at home with us. And then again, we will do it in the female form and we can take turns asking each other. So the very first question is, what is your name? And if I were to ask a volunteer, so Naomi, if I'm to ask you what your name is, and I don't already know, I would say, Ma Shmech. If I were to say this to a male sitting in my classroom, I would say, Ma Shimcha. So if you're at home, we're going to do this one more time before we practice. If you're asking a female, Ma Shmech. And if you're asking a male, Ma Shimcha. So Naomi, I'm going to ask you to ask our classmates, Sarah and Grace and Carrie, what their names are. Okay, great. Ma Shmech. Or Ma Shmech. <laughs> and we'll go Sarah and then Carrie and then Grace. Uh, ma Shemech. Ma so Shemech. Not... Oh, sorry. It was your turn, Carrie. You're good. Ma Shemech. Great. My response would be Shmi Rhonda Naim Meod. Shmi. Rhonda, Naim Meod. My name is Rhonda. It's nice to meet you. If we were in a classroom, you might stop at Shmi Rhonda. But if we're talking about a modern conversation, normally when you're meeting people in a workplace or at a train station or in a bank or a post office and you're in Israel, they follow it up with, it's nice to meet you immediately after that. Mm -hmm. So you would say the full sentence, Shmi Rhonda, Naim Me'od. So Naomi, I'm gonna ask you to ask Sarah for her name and then Sarah, if you could respond back with the full sentence. Uh, okay. Uh, ma, ma ooh, I forgot already. Mech. You got this. Mash, uh, shmi, wait, I got, I'm looking at the screen now. I forgot what was on the other one. I'm going to go to the previous one. Okay. Ma shmech. Shmi Sarah naim me'od. Beautiful. Sarah, if you could ask Grace, I'll flip flop. Oh, ma shmech. Shalom. Shmi Grace naim me'od. Beautiful. Grace, if you could ask Gary. Shalom, mashmech. Me carry, naim ma'od. Beautiful. So the total phrase, shalom, ma shmech, or shimcha, if you were to ask a male. Shmi, Rhonda, naim ma'od. We're going to try it one more time so that we feel like we have it. So I'm going to go back a slide one more time and we're going to go in reverse order. Carrie, I'm going to ask you to ask Grace. Grace, I'm going to ask you to ask Sarah. And Sarah, I'm going to ask you to ask Naomi. Grace, you have a question. I'm pausing. Yes. So we're just asking. We're not answering right now? Yep. So okay. you respond with a, oh, me. When Carrie asks you, you'll say your name and then the email. Is. And then go. And then I ask the next person. Okay. And I'll make the slides go back and forth so you can all okay. read the transliterations. <laughs> Shalom. Ma shmech. Shmi grace. Naim od. Naim od. Beautiful. Shalom. Ma shmech. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Shalom. Uh, Shmi Sarah. Um, Shmi Sarah. Yeah. Naim Od. Oh, yeah. You can, you can be the person to say Naim Od. That was very natural. That was perfect. See, there you go. You guys are pros at this. <laughs> okay, Sarah, now if you can ask Naomi. Oh, okay. Shalom, ma shamech. Yep. 
Naomi, you're on mute. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Okay, great. Something happened there. Shami Naomi Naim Me'od. Beautiful. Do we feel fairly comfortable with this? If I do it without the slides going back and forth? Oh. Yes. All right, let's try it once with no slides. Naomi, do you want to start us off? Um, <laughs> um, Shema, shem, um, shalom, ma shemech, uh, Sarah. Oh. oh, no, Shema, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at Sarah. Shalom, ma shemech. Uh, shalom, uh, shmi Sarah, um, ma shemech. Good. Me? Yep. Oh, shmi Grace, naima od. Um, Mashmech. Me, Carrie. Naim Ma'od. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So at this point, we all know how to say hello, greet each other, and introduce ourselves. And we learned all of that in about 10 minutes. So we're going to build on that so that you can have a whole conversation before this class is over. Oh. So we've covered Shalom, Mashmech, Shmi, insert your name, Naim Ma'od. Now we're going to try another question that often gets followed up with a greeting of hello, or hello, what is your name, or hello, nice to meet you, which is how are you? So we're going to pronounce it in Hebrew and then the transliterations, again, making a note that when you were asking the question, you need to pay attention to the male or female form of who you're going to ask the question to. So if I were to ask Sarah, I would say, Sarah, ma mm -hmm. If I were to ask a gentleman in the class, I would say, ma so for those of you that are following along at home, even though I can't hear you, let's practice and I'm going to give you time to say it slowly. For a female, ma shlomech. And to ask a man, you would say ma shlomcha. How are you? So we're just going to practice asking that question. But what I'm going to do is give you some answers you can respond with. I've given you a variety here. Um, obviously, this is far from an exhaustive list, but I figured we'd start with a couple of words that are more commonly used when somebody asks the question. Bisada, okay. Tov, good. Lot tov, not well. Today was not a good day, maybe. Mitsuyan, excellent. I had an excellent day. I'm great. My day was great. Mitsuyan. So we're going to use besedel, tov, lotov, and mitsuyan when we ask mashlomech. So I'll start off. I'll ask Sarah. Sarah, mashlomech? Um, um, mitsuyan. Great. Ooh. Harry, mashlomech. Said there. Grace, mashlomech. Tov. Naomi, mashlomech. Tov. Excellent. So now we're going to try asking each other mashlomech. So Sarah, if you want to ask Grace, and then Grace, you can ask Carrie, and Carrie, you can ask Naomi. And I'll remind you if we get out of order a little bit whose turn it is, because I know it's a little confusing. Grace, ma shlomech. Tov, toda. Carrie, shalom, ma shlomech. I never said there. Naomi, ma shlomech. Beso there. Rhonda, ma shlomech. It's a yen. 
So we all see how that works? Mm -hmm. You ask Mashlomech, there's a variety of responses. So at this point, we can ask what your name is and we can see how you're doing. So, Mashlomech, how are you? And for a male, Mashlomcha. And the most common response, Besede, I'm good, right? Everything's all right. So we're going to do one more round. I'll start. Naomi, mashlomech. Beseder. Mashlomech, Grace. Um, Beseder, Tada. And Carrie, mashlomech. Beseder. Sarah, mashlomech. Uh, Mitsuyan. Yofi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to craft another question, but we're going to slowly build up to this one. And it starts out with the word ma. What? Ma is a question word that is inserted into many of our get to know you and greeting questions. So I want to make sure that we all know what it means. What? When we're speaking to somebody in Hebrew and we're saying you, again, we have to distinguish between masculine and feminine. And so I say at if I'm speaking to a female and I say ata when I speak to a male. So we're just going to practice that for a moment. At. At. And ata. 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 Now we are going to insert a fun verb. This is everyone's favorite verb. It means to love or to like. Ohevet or ohev, depending on if it's feminine or a masculine who I'm speaking to. For example, if I'm speaking to Carrie, I would say, Carrie, ma at ohevet. And if there was a gentleman in my classroom, I would say, ma ata ohev. So if you are speaking to a male, ohev. And if you're speaking to a female, ohevet. We're just going to try that word very quickly so we're super comfortable with it because we're about to put it all together. So it's from the top of the screen, ohevet. 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 And ohev. 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 If I want to ask you what you like or love, I would say, ma at ohevet. What do you like? If I was saying it to a man in the room, I would say ma ata ohev. So I could say Grace, ma at ohevet. Oh, ani ohevet bni. My, I love my son. Beautiful. That was perfect. <laughs> so you insert what you love as your response. If you don't know what words to insert just yet, I have made you a variety to choose from. <laughs> 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 oh, that's cute. So we can practice some of them. Bni is an amazing one. I love that one. I have given you Likoro to read. Hakelev Shali, my dog. Lilmod Ivrit, to learn Hebrew, because that's what I love to do. And Glida, ice cream, because who doesn't love ice cream? However, if there's a word that one of you wishes to use in our practice conversation, I am happy to translate it for you. So we are going to try to ask the question, ma'ata or ma'at ohev or ohevet. In our case, it's going to be ma'at ohevet, which is on this screen. And you have an array of options to answer and or pick your own like Grace did. So 
Sarah, I'm going to ask you to start out and ask Carrie. Carrie, if you could ask Grace, and Grace, if you could ask Naomi. Um, Carrie, um, ma, ma at ohevet? Ani ohevet yayin. Grace, ma at ohevet? Ah, gam at ohevet yayin. Ani ohevet likro. Um, Naomi, ma ato hevet? Ani o hevet lilmud ivrit. Ma ato o hevet Rhonda. Ani o hevet likro ve lilmud ivrit. So when you put a vav in front of something, that's your and. The letter vav gives you and. So you can combine the things that you like. Again, if you're going to ask a gentleman, I know we don't have one in this particular group, but I don't want to ignore that this is how you would ask it. So for those of you that don't know the masculine version yet, I'm just going to do that one one more time. Ma, ata, ohev. And the response is just the same. Ani, ohev. And you would insert the word that you wish to use. Ani, ohev. Ani, ohevet. Ma ata ohev, ani ohev, lil mod ivrit. So if I were a man, that's how I would ask, and that's how I would respond. Two brand new words for us to insert into our Hebrew vocabulary tonight. Le'echol and lishtot. So we are going to practice just saying that very slowly. Le'echol. 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 Lishtot. Lishtot. To eat and to drink. While we are all in our homes for a very long time, we do a lot of eating and drinking. So I thought these were very appropriate verbs <laughs> to practice using so that while you're sitting at home, you can speak to each other, call each other on the phone, and practice using verbs le'echol and lishtot. To eat and to drink. We are now going to sandwich it all together rather than just asking, what do you like? We're going to say, what do you like to eat? And what do you like to drink? Here are the masculine forms. Ma ata ohev l'echol. Ma ata ohev l'ishtot. Now I'd like to make them feminine because I'm going to ask, Carrie, ma at ohevet leechol. Ani ohevet leechol et hakol. Ze habaya shalu. So that's baya tova. That is a great problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to give you an array of options that you can now choose from so that we have some foods in our pocket in case we are don't have them already in our wheelhouse. If you have ones in your wheelhouse that you prefer to use, please use them when we go back to the question in a moment. But here are some ones that you can use. Typical Israeli food. Falafel v'chumus. Falafel v'chumus. Mm -hmm. And since we learned a whole bunch of words this evening, I thought it would be super helpful to have the remaining food list just be cognates so that we don't have to stretch anymore in the food area. We can just stretch in verbs and in sentences. So here are some cognates that we frequently eat that you just say it the same way that you would in English. Pasta, pizza, salat. Pasta, pizza, and salad. Grace, ma at ohevet leechol? Hmm, ani ohevet leechol pasta. Naomi, ma at ohevet leechol? Ani ohevet leechol falafel vechumus. 
סרה, מה את אוהבת לאכול? אני אוהבת לאכול פלאפל וסלט. יפה מאוד. Now I'm going to ask you to ask each other what you like to eat. מה את אוהבת לאכול? Sarah, why don't you start us out? Um, Grace, מה את, מה את אוהבת לאכול? Oh, אני גם אוהבת uh, פלאפל וחומוס. נום נום. סרה, מה את אוהבת לאכול? אני אוהבת לאכול פיצה ופסטה. יפה מאוד. נעמי, now I'm going to ask you to ask Grace. אוקיי, Grace, מה את אוהבת לאכול? אני אוהבת לאכול סלט. ולשתות יין. I wish we could share. They all go together. Okay. So, you ask someone, מה אתה אוהב לאכול? For a gentleman. And מה את אוהבת לאכול is our feminine version, which we are currently asking. We can easily answer, אני אוהבת לאכול, and insert it. Now, I'm going to add some drinks to our vocabulary so that we can ask each other what we like to drink. And Grace, I apologize, Yayin is not on the list, but we're going to use it tonight. <laughs> going on the list. Um, I used some cognates. We have limonada for lemonade, cola for Coke, tea for tea, and cafe for cafe, coffee. And you can use your own. So I'm going to ask, Grace, since you have a glass right in front of you, Grace, מה את אוהבת לשתות? את יודעת. אני אוהבת לשתות יין. אני אוהבת. יפה מאוד. הארי, מה את אוהבת לאכול או לשתות? I think we lost Carrie. Sarah? Uh, אני אוהבת לשתות uh, צ'אי לטה. Mm. Um, ולאכול um, um, פלאפל, פיצה, <laughs> פסטה. <laughs> <laughs> הכל, everything. הכל. הכל, הכל. יפה. <laughs> Sarah, you can ask Naomi. Oh, uh, Naomi, ma, ma at ohevet uh, lishtot, lishtot? Uh, ani ohevet lishtot te ve kafe. I, uh, okay, yes. <laughs> mm. So just to reiterate, In the masculine form, we're going to ask, מה אתה אוהב לשתות? And in the feminine form, מה את אוהבת לשתות? And I gave the example of limonada. Fun fact, not only is limonada on almost every menu when you go to Israel, but they have what they call limonana. The word nana means mint, and they take mint leaves and put them in their lemonade, and it is one of the most popular drinks. in Israel. Mm. Sikum, summary. We are going to bring it all together. Are we ready? This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Shalom. Hello. Ma Hashem Shalach? What's your name? Shmi, you insert your name. Na'im me'od. Ma shlomech? Ani besedo. So, we are going to try this. Sarah, I'm going to have you ask Grace and go through the conversation. And Grace, if you could respond to Sarah. 
and the prompts are right on the screen. Um, Grace, uh, no, <laughs> Sh Shalom, Ma Hashem Shalcha? Shalom, Shmi Grace. Hmm, Na Naim Maud. Mashal. Mo, Ani Beseder, Ani Mitsuyan. Beautiful. Yeah. We're going to try that again. Grace, I'm going to have you ask Naomi. Shalom, Naomi. Shalom. Hello, ma Hashem Shalach, or ma Shmech? Shmi, Naomi, Naim Meod. Naim Meod. Ma Shlamech? How am I? Ma At or have it? Oh no, I'm sorry. Ma Shlomech Besader. It's a young. Okay. We're going to try this again, but we're going to add in a question. Sarah, ready? And yes. Shalom. Shalom. Ma Hashem Shalach? Um, ha Hashem Shali Sarah. Ma Hashem, Ma Hashem Shalcha. Shalach. Shalach, Shalach, right. Shmi Randa Naim Meod. Ma Shlomech. Oh, um, Ani Beseder. Um, Mitsuyani Mitsuyan. The quarantine, the loto, but <laughs> no. The so, lokef, it's not fun. No. Sheat ba quarantine, maat o hevet le echol. Ani? Ken. Oh. Ani, ani, um, ani, ochel, ochla, oh, wait, how do I say I eat? Ochelet? Ani ochelet, ani ochelet, um, um, tofu, falafel, um, pizza, pasta, salat, um, uh, cafe, yayin. <laughs> ani shmato, that sounds great. <laughs> Naomi, shalom. Ma Hashem shalach? Shmi Naomi Naimeod. Ma shalomech? Ani tov. Ma at ohevet leechol velishtot? Ani ohevet likro. Likro. Be maat ohevet leechol velishtot. Eat and drink. What's that? Eat and drink. Okay. What do you like to eat and drink? Okay. Um, thank you. Sorry. And ani ohevet lechol. Uh, hummus y leshtot limonada. You were, we're merging the Spanish in there with the E's. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> ve, ve, not, not E. I love it. I didn't even hear myself doing that. It's, it's a natural thing when you know all these languages are practiced. So I'm tutoring my daughter in Spanish today. Correction. <laughs> Grace, shalom. Shalom. Ma shalomech? Kacha kacha, ani b'seder. Grace, ma at ohevet lishtot v'leechol b'bayit? Mm, b'bayit. Ohevet lishtot kafe v'leechol cookies, ugiyot. Yifeh ba'od. New word for everybody. Did we hear that? Ugiot? Cookies. Ugiot. Ugiot. It's a great word, Grace. Thank you. It's one of my favorite words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So rather than me asking all of the questions, I'm going to pause asking 
And Grace, I'm going to ask you to take on the asking and ask Sarah some of these questions in whatever order you would like. Okay. okay. And Sarah, if you feel like you need to pause, I'm right here and we'll help you. Shalom. Mashmech. Shalom. Shemi Sarah. Naim Ma'od. Naim Ma'od. Mashlamech Sarah. Ani, Ani Beseder. Ani Beseder. Tov. Tov, Tov. Ma at Ohevet Lishtot in quarantine. Bele Echo. Ken. Ani. Ani Ohevet Li Lechol. Banan, banan, bananim, bananot, 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 cafe, the listot cafe, pizza, pizza, falafel, salat, ken, cafe, cafe, ma, ma. At uh, ohevet li lishtot vilechol. Um, ani ohevet lishtot um, <laughs> mayim. Mayim. Ken. Yeah, mayim. Abayit ve ohevet lechol um, um, bananot. Gam ken. Bananot. Ken. No, no. So, um, Tada. Um, is someone else gonna? Sh is are we asking others? Or? I think we just lost Naomi. You can ask me if you want, and I will oh, do the response. Rhonda. You can practice the asking. Yes, Rhonda. Shalom, mashlamech. Mitzvah, mashlamech. Oh, b'seder, b'seder gamur. Tada. Mat um mat ochelet ma mat ohevet lechol. Ani ohevet lechol ugiot. Hmm. Veglida. Mhm. Ve lifamim sometimes. Hmm. Lifamim. Pasta ve salat. Mhm. 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 It's a tov meod. Kulam tovim. לאכול. מה את אוהבת לשתות? אני אוהבת לשתות מים. הנה המים שלי. My water. אני גם אוהבת לשתות יין, but I'm waiting for later tonight. So here's my כוס, כוס קאפ, כוס של יין. ואני גם מאוד אוהבת קפה. It's my mug. הקפה שלי. בבוקר, in the morning, אני שותה קפה. טוב מאוד. נעמי, you want to try? Sure. Sorry, I had to step out there for a second. Not at all. Okay. סארה, נעים מאוד? נעים מאוד. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Ma shemech? Oh, shemi sara naim meod. Let's see. Ma uh, shlomech? Oh, no, sorry. Aniba uh, seder? No, that's not a question. I'm sorry. Ma shlomech is good. You were good with that. Ma uh, shlomech? Okay, yes, yes. Ma shlomech, Sarah? Can ani ani beseder? Toda. Ma shlomech, Naomi. Ani metsuya. Oh, tov. Toda. Lori? I wanted to add one more person to our list who wants to jump in since Carrie jumped out, if that's all right. So we're going to invite Deborah, and I'm going to unmute her, and her video is now on, so we can include Deborah in the rest of the conversation. Hi, Deborah. Shalom, kulam. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. All right. So, Deborah, since you've just jumped in, do you want to try and ask some of the questions? Can, Rhonda. So, Deborah. I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to
uh, ללכת לקרום נועה ולאכול פופקורן. אני אוהבת ללכת לקולנוע, אבל אני לא אוהבת פופקורן. I love to go to the movies, but I do not like popcorn. ואת, דברה, את אוהבת ללכת לקולנוע ולאכול פופקורן? כן, זה נכון. אבל בינתיים אני אוהבת לשמוע לחדשות בקשר לקורונה וירוס, לדעת מה קורה. עוד מישהו אוהב את החדשות? Does anybody else like or love the news? Great. Grace is getting in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. Mm. Just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Odd, um, yeah. Um, um, Crazy making. Yeah. <laughs> the Mishagea. Okay, okay. Mishagea. Yeah. I recognize that word. Mishagea. Okay. Okay. There you go. Hey, so she got on. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I need to have it with a little Gavina cottage. Would Mishu have a little Gavina cottage? כן. מי לא אוהבת את זה? סיירה, את אוהבת לאכול גבינת קוטג'? קוטג' צ'יז? לא. בעל שלי שונא לאכול גבינה קוטג' הוא לא אוהב הריח גם כן של גבינה קוטג'. הריח, הריח. For everyone listening, that's the smell. הריח, the smell. קוראים לו אליוט, והוא משתתף בשיעור הזה. So he's listening to us. נעמי, את אוהבת לאכול קוטג'? לא. בכלל? נעמי, no קוטג'. נעמי, מה את אוהבת? So now, since we've already introduced the word kolnoa, we're going to go with it. For those of you that are listening, kolnoa, I'm going to repeat it, and it means the movie theater. So I'm asking Naomi, ma at ohevet lishtot, which we did, what do you like to drink? Ba kolnoa in the movie theater. Ani ohevet lishtot te. Or cola. Cola? Okay. Grace, ma at ohevet leechol bakonoa? Oh, bakonoa, ma od ohevet leechol popcorn. Harbe. Harbe popcorn. Popcorn is a dollar. Zebra, ma at ohevet lishtot bakonoa? אם יש לכם, אני אוהבת לשתות שק חלב, נוק שק. נוק שק. וואו. So they're very creative in their translation of milk shake into Hebrew. You call it a milk shake. Milk shake. טוב. סרה, מה את אוהבת לשתות בקולנוע? מים. אני אוהבת לשתות מים בקול נועה? קול נועה? קול נועה. קול נועה. קול נועה. קול נועה. For those of you that are trying to phonetically write this down somewhere, think of it as K-O-L N-O-A-H. קול נועה. Like the name נועה. קול נועה. Since we're on the topic, even though it's not on the slideshow, I'm going to give you another word. The word is seret. Seret. And it means movie. And for those of you, again, writing these down phonetically, you would say S-E-R-E-T. Seret. Seret. 
Mm -hmm. which, which is more common, Kolnoa or Seret? So Kolnoa would be the movie theater and the Seret would be the movie. And so I can ask you, is this Seret at Ohevet ba Kolnoa? What right. movie do you like in the movie theater? Right. So Seret is like film a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And so now I'm going to push the envelope and ask it. Grace, is this Seret at Ohevet ba Kolnoa? Ah, ba Kolnoa. Ani Ohevet. Um, Roma. Can I say, Anya Hevet Haseret Roma? Et Haseret Roma. Et Haseret Roma. Beautiful. Femo. Yeah. Sarah? Esa Seret at Ohevet Bakol Noah. Uh, Ani Ohevet Documentar? Document, document, document. Mm -hmm. Documentarium. Come on. Ba, ba kol Noah. Mm, beautiful. In popcorn. <laughs> Mine? Ken. I need gamo habit documentarium. I also like documentaries. Oh. Avalani lo ochelet popcorn. I Love. don't eat popcorn. Ani shota kola du divan. I like cherry coke. Kola du divan. Kola. And for those of you that are trying to figure out how to spell out du divan, which is cherry, it would be du divan. So D O O V space D E V A N du divan a cherry. Du divan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So now we have multiple fruits. We have cherries and bananas because we just, Sarah showed us the banana to the bananas. I mean. So now we have fruit as well. Okay. Okay. So when you said, if I may, if yes, you say, please. A seret at ohevet, are you asking for an individual movie or are you asking for a kind of movie like mean, is a mean? Sarah. I'm asking you specifically what movie you want to see or oh, you're okay. interested in or you like right now in the okay. theater. Oh, okay. Okay. If I wanted to ask you what kind of movies you like, I don't want to get this too complicated for everyone, but to answer okay. your question, as it means sratim at ohevet, what mm -hmm. kinds of movies yeah. do you like? Mm -hmm. And that brings a whole new question word right. into play, yeah. which is why I wasn't using yeah. it. It's a witch <laughs> versus ma what? Yeah, and I was just wondering about the documentaries. Yep. I only asked because of that. No, absolutely. It's a good question. No questions go unanswered in this class. Okay. So, for a finale, we're going to try to ask whatever questions you wish from the lesson, and we're going to take turns asking one another. I'll start us off so it doesn't seem like I'm throwing everybody in. I'm going to start and I will ask Deborah some questions. Deborah, I'll ask you to ask <clears throat> Grace. Grace, I'll ask you to ask Naomi and Naomi, Sarah. And if anyone gets stuck, we're all going to jump in and help. <laughs> this is a team effort. Deborah, Mashma. Shmi Devora. Mashma. Shmi Randa. Naim Me'od. Naim Me'od. דבורה, מה שלומך? אני מצוין, תודה רבה. ואת? אני בסדר. דבורה, מה את אוהבת לאכול? אני אוהבת לאכול גבינה קוטג'. אני יודעת שזה מפריע את הבעלי. אני מסתערת על יד. Beautiful. <laughs> Devora, if you could ask Grace some questions. Grace, frequency. Frequency. Frequency? Anirotsalam Litzlach et Haseret frequency. She's asking you if you 
have Absolutely. seen the movie Frequency, yeah. and if not, she'd like to recommend it. Yeah, what's the word for recommend? Mamlit. 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 With a tet. So, mem, mem, lamed, yud, sadik. So, would you say mamlita? Any mamlita? Sa, like, like a tz. Sa. Mamlita. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, you know, I have very weird taste. Parasite. About the odd muzar. It's very strange. I mean, odd. About the tov. Ulai Mitsuyan. Ma ato chelet velishtot the kol noah bezman shaat raid the tesserat. Um, ani lo achalti klum. Aval ani ohevet lechol. Ani ohevet lechol popcorn, chocolate. Um, the the kol noah shereim tesserat. The Mitsuyan lechol chocolate. <laughs> Beautiful. Naomi? Mm -hmm. Um Naomi, Mashlamech. Uh I need um Besa there. Um Ma 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 at I'm gonna use the word recommend Mamlitsa. Good. Ma at Naomi Ma at Mamlitsa Lechov. Uh Ani or Havet, um, Leho or Lesto Leho. Uh, Ani or Havet, a Leho, um, um, uh, pasta vesa salat. Hmm, too young. Okay, I'm now I'm asking Sarah. Yep. Okay, uh, Sarah Mashlamech. Uh, uh, toda, um, uh, and I need, I need the seder. Um, ma, it, ma, ma, shlom mech. Okay. Again, uh, I, uh, ma, ma, at, oh, have it, uh, le, Uh, I need, oh, have it, le, le, stot, cafe, cafe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Toda. Ma ato have it lish le le hol. Ani? Uh, Ken. Ani o have it le hol. Amalti ugiot. Ani me od o have it ugiot. The chocolate. Mm. Nam nam. Ken. The glida. Glida. Ani o have it sukar. I love sugar. Ani. O have it glida chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. If I'm odd. Okay, we're gonna now learn how we say it was nice to meet everybody. Because normally when you meet somebody somewhere, which is how this all started out, you say goodbye to them when you're done with your conversation. So I'm gonna do this one slowly. It's a longer sentence. Haya naim lahakil. Otach, which is what I would say to all of you as females, or for a gentleman, haya naim lhakil otcha. It was nice to meet you. And I'm going to say to everyone on the conference call and Zoom call, haya naim lhakil otchem. It was nice to meet all of you. I believe that we have just about run out of time. As Ed Hoffman so, says, it does say nechmad. I'm sorry, but the Hebrew said nechmad. Haya nechmad lahakirata. So I actually have both. I was going to flip. You can say either one. 
I probably use two different slides and merge them. You can say nechmad and it means the same thing. Haya nechmad lahakir otach or otcha. And Lori sends the slides out to everyone. I'm going to give you an extra slide. And either one is perfectly okay, but you have to remember either way, if you say na'im or nechmad, to change the last word to be otach or otcha. And for extra added bonus points, I'm going to put in one more slide and tell you how to say it to everyone, otchem. Haya na'im lahakir otchem. So that if you have more than one person in front of you, you can say goodbye to both people at the same time. So for example, Dvoa, I know you said that Elliot was on this call with you. And if I was speaking to both of you, I would say, Haya nechmad lahakir otchem. Or Hanaim Lakir Otchem. Gambishulenu Lakirotach. And so I hope I will see you all again at a future event and I will turn it over to Lori. Thank you everyone. To Daraba Lakulam. Thank you. Daraba, thank you. Thank you for volunteering. And Naomi has bought. You were amazing. Toda Rhonda. Toda. It was a fun way to learn Hebrew. Thank you so very much for that. Um, I have to say, I listened to your entire presentation and I still can't speak Hebrew. However, <laughs> I am now craving a lemonade and a movie in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that, that, that is a good outcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good outcome. Um, so before opening up for questions, and I don't think that we have many, um, I wanted to remind uh, the alumni out there Please don't forget to update your contact information on our website and to join the Gratz Alumni Facebook page. So just to mention to everyone out here, uh, we launched this Gratz at Home series as a way of showing that we're here for our community in this challenging time. And we're thrilled, really thrilled to have received such a strong response from everyone. Um, among those participating tonight are alumni and current students, both local to Philadelphia and from around the world. Um, if you would like to help strengthen grads and make it possible for even more students across the world to participate in our online programs, please consider making a tax deductible charitable donation and I will send an email to that effect if you would like to. Um, on behalf of everyone at Gratz, I want to thank you for your participation and your support tonight. Um, and if there are any questions that are left, I'd be happy to take some. I know that um, Ed, you had asked a couple of times about some words and there. I know there was at least um, one adjective that you were curious about that I don't think we got to. So if I could have help of maybe, uh, I don't know if we need to put your audio on, but Ed did write earlier about the adjective um, of mitsuyunet instead of mitsuyun. I already have notes about that, so I, I do have an answer for that. I have notes here. Right. Um, I understand your question, Ed. If you're saying how you're doing your well-being, it's just Mitsuyan. If you were describing something, then you would attribute the verb with the noun or a noun with an adjective and have it all agree in gender. So that is why when you're saying how you are your state of being, you don't need to bother to conjugate it. But if I were to say, I was describing a, a movie, seret, being masculine, then I would need to use the masculine form of it. Or if I was describing a banana, which was a feminine word, then I would need to use the feminine form of mitsuyan or mitsuyenet. Banana mitsuyenet, seret mitsuyan. I hope that answers your question. I think that's where you were going. Tada, Rhonda. Thank you. Um, so I didn't see any other questions, at least the ones that were not answered uh, during the course of the chat. So I really want to thank everyone for inviting Gratz inside your living rooms, your offices, dining rooms, and dens. Thank you. Um, and I'd really like to extend a very grateful thank you to Rhonda for teaching us some Hebrew tonight. So with that said, good night, everyone. Have a lovely evening. <laughs>